So we have a brand new proposal to talk about in today's update. So hey everyone, how's it going today? And welcome back to another update. So the big idea is, as I just mentioned, is that there is now officially a brand new bill and proposal that has now just been released in order to do stimulus checks. But what's maybe particularly special and now unique about this brand new bill that just came out is that first off is that we have had a lot of bills that have come out, but that have mostly been talking about like a one-time fourth stimulus check. This is the first bill I think in a while that we've received that is now hoping to try to do monthly reoccurring fourth stimulus checks. And what's also amazing about this bill is, is that it's also a bill that applies to all 50 states, which means that the beautiful thing is, is that it's one of the more inclusive bills that we try to welcome everyone that's watching this video. So it doesn't discriminate based off of state view or just anything related to that if they're trying to bring it on the national level. So in today's update, I pretty much just want to talk all about this brand new bill, the details, what it involves, and then maybe I also want to follow that to talk a little bit about what this bill actually means and the actual significance of how this is going to change and impact everything. So hopefully, even if you have already seen a video or know about this bill, maybe there's still some unique value that hopefully can come out of this. So, But hopefully we can decide by the very end of this video. So we're gonna get right to it, but as always, 10 really quick seconds. As always, consider smashing the like button if you guys hopefully enjoy videos like this. Again, or you can watch the end decide from there, but hopefully. Um, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for similar videos like this, especially as we get more information. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, personal thoughts about honestly, just really anything. It's always great to say hi to new and familiar faces. So that being said, let's get this video started. So this brand new bill, what's going on is, is that it was recently just introduced specifically by three politicians within Congress, specifically Mike Thompson of California, Lauren Underwood of Illinois, and also John Larson of Connecticut. And the way this bill works is, is that what's going to happen is that they are going to be doing monthly stimulus checks all the way from if it does end up approving whenever that happens until the very, very end of this year, so specifically 2022. Um, or at least certainly what they say is, is as while prices around our country are still very high. Because the whole purpose about this bill is that it's really meant to help combat a lot of the rising inflation prices. That's actually the reason why we've seen a lot of bills that revolve something around gas and oil. It's just because that is one of the typical bills and necessities that many people have that have risen the particular most amount, certainly in terms of percentage. But the way this bill is going to work is, is that they're pretty much going to be doing $100 monthly stimulus checks per person within a household, including dependents. So what this basically means is, is that if you live as a single individual, you'll be getting $100 monthly. But keep in mind, because this is monthly, it actually really, really does hopefully, you know, add up to, you know, compared to like a one time thing. Of course, that's individual preference. But what's great is, is that if you are a single individual, it's going to be a hundred. If you are a couple or married couple, um, you will be getting 200 because it's 100 per person. If you have a child, it's going to be 300. And then if you are a family of four, you will be able to receive $400 every single month. So it is still actually certainly at least something, which I think is great because at the end of the day, it's money inside of our pockets and it's for all 50 states once again. The income threshold in order to be able to get onto this is that if you are a single individual, you are going to have to have a salary of either around 75,000 or under. If you are a married couple, you're going to have to have a salary of 150,000 and under. So the qualifications are pretty much almost identical to what you're probably um, used to or have heard of from things related to like the first, second, and the third stimulus check. Now, in terms of the significance about this bill is, is that what's really, really particular special about it aside from all of the other stuff that we just mentioned about the fact that it's monthly it's all 50 states and it's something that's going to be reoccurring um, is that Right now, at this current time, what's really awesome is that we're starting to see a lot of different proposals come out revolving around doing more fourth stimulus checks, which is the really, really great news. But the biggest 
I guess you can say like thing that they're really working and debating on right now inside of Congress is actually the specific approach to doing these particular stimulus checks, which is the reason why we are having so many different proposals um, that have recently been coming out lately. And it's exactly because of that reason why there might be a little bit of confusion between all of the different dollar amounts and things that have been happening. We did make a couple of videos um, before. Most of you guys have already saw a huge thanks, but if you guys haven't or need a refresher, I'll definitely put those videos at the end screen that really just talk all about a lot of the other programs that are currently being proposed. And a few of them have actually interestingly already even been approved but just very locally on the very very local state level but i do know that all of those videos do have timestamps around them so hopefully it'll make it a little bit easier to be able to navigate including this one if you guys want to be able to jump around through the timestamps um but the really even bigger significance really is that because right now the the ultimate goal that they really would love to be able to do is that they're able to try to create some kind of fourth stimulus program even even if it has to be very, very targeted, but to at least bring it on the nationwide level. But in terms of the future plans is, is that if let's say, for example, that ends up struggling, there's a couple backup plans that they're really hoping to do. The first backup plan is, is that if they end up struggling to do it on a national level, they're hoping to at least maybe be able to convince a lot of politicians to at least try to bring it on a state level. This is actually especially true because right now they're working on a lot of plans in order to try to bring more relief and money to the states, um, which is basically otherwise known as the state and local funding that you guys probably have heard of from the first and the second and the third stimulus check, which many states actually to this day still have a lot of money left over. It's just more now about what they physically want to do with it. But if let's say, for example, and I guess this is the even more new information, that if let's say they end up struggling doing it on a national level, and then maybe let's say that they semi-struggle doing it on a state level. And I say semi because every state is very, very different. Some even already have programs approved as we just you know mentioned videos once again on the end screen. But the other thing that they're really potentially hoping to do is to try to create programs that are essentially creative ways to bring about stimulus checks or to essentially try to save people money even if it's through some kind of tax break program. So for example, two other plans I know that are that are very very related that they're trying to do right now is one of them is is that they want to be able to try to this is a totally brand new proposal now we're you know that we're talking about is that there is another brand new proposal that's going on behind the scenes where what they really want to do is is to contemplate trying to remove taxes on just gas in general so in an indirect way for drivers it is actually a very good thing because it means that even though there isn't necessarily a direct stimulus check involved because a lot of people especially people that regularly drive if it's whether it's for pleasure leisure social or job they are now able to save a lot of money that may potentially add up to even more than what the $100 per month stimulus check would potentially provide. There are also a lot of other talks now about trying to potentially do something related to a trigger system where the price of the stimulus check or the gas or everything related to like the taxes, basically most of the plans that we talked about, they want to essentially just do that but potentially try, try to maybe tie it to a trigger system where the amount is going to be based off of the actual price of the gas. So for example, whether it's 20% of whatever the cost of gas is, 50%, they wanna create some kind of trigger system or metric to really be able to balance it out so that it now starts to kind of have a lot more variation across all of the different states. But I think above all of it is that the really, really big idea right now is, is that they're at least trying and we're seeing a lot of action start to take place. Of course, we ideally want to see something signed, stamped, and, and not just something signed, stamped, but actually something good, again, because it's not just always about, you know, that something, but it's also about the actual quality of that particular something. Um, kind of like a lot of videos where we talk a lot of more about how when it comes to unemployment, a huge part of it is not just about finding a work and a job, but also hopefully about finding something that's actually 
enjoyable something that's actually desirable and something that maybe is actually you know that actually feels like it's something that actually is worth to really be able to commit to but of course beyond this is is we just have to see what end they end up actually physically end up deciding at the very very end will there be new proposals that pop up which where will these actual proposals that are already on the table go? Everything related to that, that's what we're going to probably have to talk about in the one of the next episodes of this show, I guess, depending on what you want to call it. So if you guys made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys haven't done so, remember to smash the like button, consider subscribing, hitting the bell. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, personal thoughts about anything. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay well. If you guys are watching this on Happy Friday and have a great weekend and hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.